G'day viewers, thanks for joining me, I'm PB and in this video I'll be restoring this Lesney TV service van with some 3D printed parts, a new carton, plus a history of the casting along the way. Be sure to stay to the end to see it all. Now let's get crack lacking as they say at the TV licensing department, probably, and get this one happening. The TV service van first appeared in Matchbox catalogues in 1963, replacing the military service truck and remained in the line until 1969 when it was replaced by the Mercury Cougar. The TV service van saw no major variations other than wheels until its final year when it went from rent -a set to Radio Rentals decals. The change also reflected on the carton. Alright, the ubiquitous TV van. I've done one of these for my father-in-law. Haven't done one for myself. You saw this in my one of my unboxing purchases videos. Been overpainted by a kid, but they've been real careful not to go on the windows, which we thank them for. Um, first, I thought this is actually might be pretty good under that paint, but there are a few chips right through now. But I, yeah, and you can see where it had lost some paint. You can make out the renter set underneath it, so it is the earlier one, um, late in its life, as you saw in the history at the start. They changed it to Radio Rentals. I think that was for the worldwide market. I don't know if they just did that in the States or something well, else. I was making the 3D printed parts for it. Um, it's still got the base of the antenna in there. I'll pop it out. I pinched it out when I was measuring it. And it has its original ladder, which is so cool. I took the opportunity to make a replica of it too. So. Anyway, this one should be pretty, actually, that's right, don't even have to drill this one, I forgot about that. These are one of the tab type ones, which can still be a bit of a pain. We don't want to bend the body, obviously. bend it. We much less don't want to break it. I don't want to leave her up inside there in case I hit the, oh no, the glass is held in with a rivet. Okay. There we go. That was easier than I thought it was going to be. Face a little bit bent. That's okay. I have to measure this up. I'm pretty sure this is the exact same piece as the Pickford fan. Oh, what am I doing? nub of an aerial. Now yeah, let's get this glass out without destroying it. Success. A little bit of over paint from whoever painted it and a little bit from the factory well, that's probably just dried on you know it was still wet when they assembled it but, uh, part of me wonders how bad that is under there and then part of me thinks it doesn't matter you're gonna paint it anyway so as I was sweeping the bench I've swept that little bit of aerial away so lucky I used it already because it is gone while I've hopefully got your attention, if this is your first time here, I'd like to say thank you very much for giving my channel a go. I've got hundreds of unique videos here for your viewing pleasure. You can check them out via this link at the top of your screen. And as always, please consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you.
Here's all the parts that I've got to work with, all disassembled now, with no um, aggro, no busted windscreens. Should be pretty straightforward. So the base is pretty straightforward, I just painted it some semi-gloss to me uh, acrylic paint. The body, I initially used what looked to be a pale cream and once I sprayed it on and it dried, it came out nice and shiny but it was started darkening to almost like a, almost more a grey than a cream and it looked awful so I stripped it again and I blew over it in a brighter cream which was a lot closer again it's just straight out of a bottle I didn't mix it or try to match it I just picked something that was pretty close That's better. Okay, so here's the two sets I made. Well, I made one set and then I duplicated them, obviously. I made a loose set. This is a set I printed, painted, and used in the car. Uh, once I'd done that, and as I was putting it together to put it back in the box, I thought, oh, I should have made a replica of the sprue, which is what I've done here. Uh, I'll put these on my Cults 3D page. I'll put a link in the description for you if you'd like to go and check them out. Uh, they're pretty close. I, Because I had an original ladder, I was able to get measurements off that. Uh, looking at pictures of originals, I could see that the antenna arms were the same dimensions as the rungs on the ladder. So I was able to make a very close approximation of the original. You put them next to a set of originals, they're probably gonna be a little bit out. But as far as looking the part, filling a hole, if you've got a 3D printer, it's a lot cheaper than buying a set. I wouldn't, you're not gonna be able to print these on a PLA. Uh, they're only suitable for a resin, so you can get it down to your 0 0.02, you know, mil, you know, 0 0.02 of a mil type measurements. Uh, but anyway. Oh, it's, I'm really pleased with how they came out. Uh, they're much more successful than the scaffold pieces I made for the scaffolding truck, that's for sure. This project got delayed quite a bit by having to repaint the body. You can see the... I kept those busted bits of the roller door from the Pickfords built, just in case. I don't know, I might use them one day. Uh, and here's all my little TVs and ladder, and I just went through and I picked the best looking ones of the bunch, because I printed several, I always do two or three, they don't always come out perfect the ladder was a little bit wonky but decided I'd sand it up and I'd paint it I'm gonna use the original on this project but I'm put a bit of tape on my favorite bit of wood that I keep in the shed and stick all the parts on there I'm never quite sure how to mount them while I paint them and this was a bit frustrating but as I'm recording this and thinking back to how I put them on a sprue, I guess I should have printed them with little mounting points so I could hold them with the 
clips like I did the aerial, you know. And that would have been a bit smarter, so I might do that next time. I couldn't find the decals that I'd made for Paul's van. I, I did make extras. I know I made extras. What I did with them, I don't know. Uh, and I was a bit short on decal paper, so I bought these from Black Square. Uh, they're not too bad. They do seem exceptionally thin sometimes, and as you'll see in a minute, this caused me a bit of grief. I'm not blaming the decals. I'm blaming my own ineptitude and the usual stuff, viewers. Anyway. Gave all the plastic parts a clean in my ultrasonic cleaner. Uh, this is one of those occasions. The the wheels. This this car, apart from being painted red, underneath was in really good shape. The wheels didn't need anything doing to them. They just need to clean. Same with the roller door. Uh, gave the window a little bit of a clean up. Had a few little scratches in it. Uh, but it didn't need too much work, which was a nice change. And I didn't break it, which is an even nicer change. All right, here's all our refurbished parts ready to be reassembled and put back, to, well, reassembled and put back together. What an idiot. Here comes some of that quality cinematography you've come to know and love at PBs. This is your brain. This is your brain on drugs. This is your brain on drugs again. Wow. Anyway.
this is going to be one of those ones, viewers, that... Oh, yeah, this will be so easy to put back together. It'll turn out to be an absolute pain in the ass. Thought I was going to be sitting there doing that for a while, viewers. So I squeeze out a little bit of the silver out of the Posca pen and I get my cotton bud just to dab onto the headlights which nearly always usually works for me. Uh, wasn't quite working on this headlight so you know, what, do we, what should we always do? Get a heap more paint, that'll fix it. And I dabbed it on and as you'll see it went everywhere, I ruined it. Well, I would have ruined it, except with this Posca pen. I've told, I've said before, it wipes off so easily. If you get to it, you know, don't let it dry overnight. You do it straight away. It will wipe straight off. It's wonderful stuff. If I'd been using acrylic paint, it would have been a whole other story. I love this pen. I'm not going to sing again. No, I'm not going to sing again. <laughs>
Okay, it's carton making time again. Uh, as usual, if you follow this link up the top of your screen, it'll take you to my how I do it carton making video. Probably not the best method. Probably not the easiest method. Definitely one of the cheaper methods and, you know, we, you might learn something new. It's, you know, might G you up to have a go. That's what I'd really like hearing. I've, I've had a few messages from people like Willie told me he was able to make a carton for himself. Uh, and a couple of people have asked me to send the files from my boxes. So some of you must think they're human. So that's good. Baby can't be beat. Everyone says it's true. See viewers, this is why I tell you to make all those lines because this is causing me grief now. I won't lie to your viewers, I lost the footage of me gluing the box together and I also lost the footage of me putting the van into the box for the great big completion back in the box reveal. Uh, so in the interest of consistency, I took it out of the box and now I'm putting it back in the box again. And just like that, with, <laughs> with nearly no grief whatsoever, we are done! Hooray! Here we are, back at the start with my kid painted. Although, once again, I have to say, very neatly kid painted. They did a really good job of it, uh, which made it a lot easier than it could have been. Somehow still retaining its original ladder, uh, but nothing else. Anyway, this is what we started with. And this, dear viewer, is what we're left with now. Ta-da! Looking a million bucks now, which is what I believe a TV license costs in England at the moment. Um, with its fresh coat of paint, fresh decals, uh, a little bit of detailing. I might have gone overboard by doing the tail lights, but it's okay. I, I like how it looks. Uh, some 3D printed parts. I'm really pleased with how those parts came out. Uh, again, I'll put a link in the description if you'd like to go and get them from my cults page. Uh, the TVs look, oh, there they are, appearing as if by magic from outer space. Remember TVs, viewers? They used to weigh five ton and black and white and three channels. Glory days. Glory days. 
Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video, viewers. Thanks for watching to the end. If you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, check out some of my other videos. Please consider subscribing and don't forget to click the bell for alerts. That way you too can be swept away to a world of PB magic every time a new video drops. Yo, have a great weekend, a safe weekend. Thank you again for all your support and I hope to see you all next time here on PB's Retro Restorations. Bye. Ladies.